Major Slack Attack. We have the name of Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Combat Archer Overdrive. And it got me a little shopping list. I want to get some Forsworn gear. Maybe a couple sets. Complete set, you know, the headdress, armor, gauntlets, boots. Uh, maybe a couple of sets, but one set will do. Um, that's going to be Gina's final combat gear because, you know, she looks so sexy in the Forsworn gear. Ha <laughs> ha. And I want to get some another set of tavern clothes because the ones we have, um, well, we're going to make a new business suit, so uh, we're going to need another set of tavern clothes. And uh, I need four fine hats, a circlet, some gloves, about 10 to 15 blue butterfly wing, and uh, some shoes. That's what we're going to get right now. And also, um, I've decided I'm going to power level up to level 59. That's where my practice friends took me up, way up to level 59. Because I decided I did not want to give up all these points that I spent in restoration. All these are really useful. Um, the original plan was to use the... I don't know what this thing is officially called. I was looking, I was googling all over, all over for this. But this skill carousel that um, you get taken to when you open up the Black Book Waking Dreams. This is like the reward for finishing the Dragonborn DLC. Anybody know what this is officially called? I'm going to call it the Waking Dreams Carousel because it's like a carousel of skills. Anyways, the, you know, um, you know how this works. Uh, you spend a Dragon Soul and you can clear all the perk points in any skill without like declaring it legendary. And the original plan was to do this to all the restoration perks, get them back and then use those, respend them in destruction and get novice destruction and all the augmented perks augmented flames 1 and 2, frost 1 and 2, and shock 1 and 2, which is going to be uh, essential for our build. But I decided I don't want to do that. So instead, I'm going to power level up to 59, get 8 more perk points, and then we're going to be able to keep everything. And I'm going to be able to create the build without having to declare anything legendary, ultimately. I will declare... Um, Alchemy Legendary, but we're going to quickly build that up again to 100. But after it's all said and done, we can still keep enchanting at 100 with all the perk points and smithing at 100 with all the perk points. And that's the way I like her. Alright, so that's the plan. Let's get busy. This run is all about the shopping list. Forsworn gear, tavern clothes, blue butterfly wing. Let's get to it. Forsworn gear. We can simply go to Cole Skaker Mine and whack all the uh, the bad boys there and see if we can get a complete set of Forsworn gear there. On the way there, we can collect some more juniper berries, which we'll need for some, uh, for some fortifying marksman potions. And we could take a run up to the lover stone, but I'm not going to use it. There's a bear up there. We're getting a little short on leather, so we're going to have to whack a few animals. All right, saddle up, lock and load. Gene is ready to go. Carry weight is respectable. All the juniper berries you find, grab them. And we're getting two per shot now. Don't forget, because we got the green thumb perk. Okay, we got this farm discovered. Did I see it? Oh yeah, there's some blue butterflies over here. Hopefully, it's not that sunny. Usually the butterflies only come out during sunny weather. I 
Yep. Let's see if we can get it to clear up. Let's wait 24 and see if we can get it to clear up. Oh, here we go. And here's the butterflies. Give me a blue one. There's a blue one. Just one? That's all you're going to give me, game? Come on. Alright. That's your way. Collecting up the juniper berries here, boss. Let's go whack that bear at the lover's stone. Once again, I'd like to remind everybody that I am not a completionist. Far from it. I would describe my play style as quick and dirty. So I see a lot of people posting comments saying, you miss this and you miss that, you know. Um, hey, all the power to you if you are a completionist, but I am not. My motto is more with less. Right, Bear? More with less. And the lover stone, just in case we might want to use it, but I don't think we will. But we now have it discovered. Why not use this luck? Because um, you can't um, stack the rested bonus, any rested bonuses with the lever stone. So that's the penalty you take for having all skills level up 15% faster, which is convenient, but then, you know, you take a hit. What did I do? Mr. Fumblefingers, what did you just do? Come on, fess up, what'd you do? You took a restore magical potion, okay. <laughs> You're a blithering idiot. Okay, here we go. These four sworn at level 51 are gonna be a force to be reckoned with, so. Actually got her. Um, do I have any, yeah, I had some of these left, oh, and I only got three. Okay, it's a good thing I'm collecting juniper berries. There we go. You got a headdress. You got the whole shebang, awesome. First one. Let's see if we can get another one. Nope. You're bothering me. Okay, seriously. You're really bothering me. Oh my gosh! Do 
Do I have any paralysis poisons? I do. I want to save these though. Uh, yeah, what the hell. Dang it, what you... <laughs> I wasted a paralysis poison on you for nothing. Why didn't you tell me you're gonna die on the first shot? Okay, let's go into the mine. for death is number five. The hell? You seen this? Oh, right. What am I thinking? I totally forgot. I have, uh... Concentrated poison. Poison applied to weapons last for twice as many hits. Yeah, so I still have another paralysis shot. Damage health poison. Recipe. Okay, whatever. And you have the whole... Set except the headdress. The headdress seems like the hardest to find. Hello? Am I in there? Here we go. Yeah. Wakey, wakey. Ah, dang it. That was a little premature shouting there. Oh my gosh, here we go. Back off there, Ravager. Okay, who else? Haha, <laughs> gotcha. And you went down with the one shot too. Alright. I'm not gonna mine any of the ore. We're not here for the ore. Let me pick up these ingots though. Okay, I think it's time for a little more paralysis. Especially the, the badass for horse worn briar hurt. Ouch. Down you go. Briar hurt. Gotcha. And that's all she wrote. Haha. <laughs> Got your bright heart. Now, you. You still down and out? You are. <laughs> I love my 30 second paralysis poisons. And <laughs> that's all she wrote. Okay, so how do we make out? Four sworn up the wazoo. We got at least three sets. Excellent. Mission accomplished. Okay. Let's just go grab a little bit of ore. And some ingots. What the hell? And it's a done deal. Can we go down there without killing ourselves? Hmm. 
We're out of here. All right, next on the list. Liar's Retreat. If you go to Rorikstead and just follow the road up here to the fork in the road, take the left fork and follow this around here. This will pass Broken Tower Redoubt. Just past Broken Tower Redoubt, there's this little path. I don't know if you can see this in the video that goes up here like that. And Liar's, Re Liar's Retreat is right about there. That's where we can get another set of tavern clothes. Tavern clothes. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna get Gina dressed up all nice and sexy. Whether she's in combat or not. You know what? I should collect that wheat. That might be useful. There you go. Just in case we encounter any predators on the way. Like I said, we're running a little short on leather. For example, that looks like a saber cat. <laughs> Got him. A <laughs> one shot. <laughs> Hunting it up here, boss. Alright. <clears throat> Pardon me. Saber cat tooth, great, we can use that for some smithing potions. And the pelt, of course. Okay, like I said, the fork in the road. There is a forsworn, but we got all the forsworn gear we want, so sorry boys and girls. Love to hang around and trade body blows with you, but uh, we're about business. Okay, up ahead. Holy sh! What the hell? Looks like they need business too. Here's another saber cat. Oops. Way to pooch it there, slack. Yeah. I yeah. Gotcha. One shot! Haha! <laughs> well, <laughs> we just the first one. <laughs> Where are you going, Frost? Oh, jeez. Okay. Frost has got some issues. Oh, here come the Force Warren. What the hell? Did you just run away in fear? You did, didn't you? What the hell? I thought you were like this badass war horse. Maybe because he got clawed by the saber cat. Okay. Oh, here comes the mage. Okay, we don't want to mess with her. We're out of here. Let's see if we could drag her into the broken ta broken tower redoubt, boys. You following? Walk this way. <laughs> That one that that just rushed just there, she's got a power attack that can stop your horse dead in its tracks. Every time I came by here in practice runs, it was nuts. I'd be galloping along, she'd come up to a power attack, and Frost would just stop dead in his tracks. That's one hell of a power attack, let me tell you. 
Okay, so like I said, take a little path here. Sorry, I know exactly where I'm going, so I'm not really commenting here. Here we go, Lyra's Retreat. This is full of Thalmer, who will most likely be engaged with something else as we get in there. So we might be able to just rush in and rush out, rush in and get the, there they are. Yeah, they're fighting. Often the fighting takes them off into a tunnel over there. Yeah, there they go. Let's just hook up our Woolworn Sprint. The tavern clothes are on a dead barmaid right there. Let's see if we can just... Right over here like that. There she is. Tavern clothes. Done and done. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Ouch. Mission accomplished. Alright. That dragon bay out with me? No? Okay. Um, what's the deal with our juniper berries? How many did we get? 44. That's good. That is excellent. Finally, let's go to Solitude and see if we can hustle up some... Uh, I cannot fast travel at this time. See if we can hustle up some some clothing. Oh yeah, I'm looking for Fortify Stamina Regen as well. Okay, so I'm with the business gear. Actually, the better prices gear. There we go. And it is during business hours. There you go. Have a quarter's light on me. All right, you there. Let's see if we can't find an outfit that suits you. Okay, I'm shopping around for some uh, a circlet for my gal here. Something really nice. Price is no price is no um, object. Ooh, how about a gold emerald circlet? Yeah, let's take that one. What? Yeah, I know. I, well, what the hell? I got a hundred thousand gold. I can afford to squander a few, a few uh, pesos here and there. And we're looking for some fine hats to make a series of um, business gears, business gear, fine hat. Let's take all these four, two, three, four, and the gloves. What else? Uh, some shoes. Yeah, I usually buy boots. Let's buy some shoes for a change. There we go. And finally, stamina regen. Let's go back to the top here. Doesn't look like it. Okay, and you have 1400 gold. Let's sell you some junk. I don't need all these. You can have three of them. Likewise, I don't need all the boots. You can have four. And there we go, we have three full sets of horse horn gear. You know, this leather armor. And you're out of money. Done and done. Finally. Ta ta. Let the bitching continue. <laughs> Alright. Let's just take a quick peek into bits and pieces and then up to the blacksmith, see if I can find some stamina regen gear. If I can't find it, I'll just do that off camera. Viren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. <laughs> Some might call this junk. Me? You solitude folk are really, treasures. really fond of your executions, eh? What do you got? What do you got? A barrel, stamina regen, smithing, and that's all you got. Nope. Oh, wait, we can sell you some stuff. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing.
Make sure Very good. Recommend us to your associates. Seems there's no hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much stamina regen. Come on, baby. <laughs> Close. And no cigar. Okay, that's it. I'll shop for that off camera. Like I said, uh, let's go to one of the best places to get blue butterfly wing, and that's Honey Brew Meadery during sunny weather, which this is not. Looks like a nice clear day. Excellent. Excellent. Here, here we go. Yep, here it. Skyrim, did you screw with my FOV again? Nope, okay. There's another one. Boy, the game's being really cheap with the blue butterflies. Okay, it could be some... Here's another one. Ten. That's pretty good. The crossroads near Fort Greymore also has a ton of blue butterflies. Also just around this whole area along the road here. Oh shit! What the hell? What do you want? Uh, I don't like the looks of you. Uh, I think you're gonna get a little bit of paralysis. Don't you walk away from me? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, I'm not walking away. I'm just gonna stand right here and apply a little acupuncture because you've got a bad attitude oh another set of glass armor Let's just take it all. Congratulations, you have been pantsed by the slack. And let's engage in another rousing episode of Playing with the Dead. Whee! Okay, ta ta now. How's that thief thing working out for you, eh? Huh? Well, I'm going to have to settle for a dozen. That'll help. Dozen blue butterfly. Okay, back to the headquarters. And I found a really neat way to get back to the headquarters. Go to the, the bow of the ship here. Turn on... Whirlwind Sprint, aim right at this jug here just above it and let it rip. Pull shout. Get right over on the dock there. Wait an hour. Aim at the door. And you're home.
<laughs> We're done here. Let me get organized, get ready for the next run. We are going to do some fishing, some salmon row fishing. Oh shit, I did that with my blue, jeez. Oh, I had my business suit on when I was taking on that thief. Okay, well, she went down anyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I often do that. Get so many, uh... Okay, there we go. We're done here. Hey, thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you get all my videos as soon as I upload them. Hey, see you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.